heating up my food. And um, I got this, which is supposedly a hangover cure. So I'm gonna try it. Not that I'm that hungover, but my stomach is like, ugh. I'm gonna catch a train for Danachi station and then I'm gonna walk to the Rainbow Bridge. So like I mentioned, today is a sunny day, tomorrow is gonna rain, Monday is gonna rain, and then I go back home. So I'm going to car. This is really not the best place to vlog, but I need to start it. <laughs> oh my god, I look so crap today. I didn't do anything with my hair, it's so flat. Urgh. So I'm gonna do my best to make this entertaining, but this is the strangest vlog I've ever made. I don't think I've ever vlogged that, being slightly hungover. <laughs> it on my face you can see how bad I feel <laughs> and with the sun I thought it would be good but oh my god my head uh, so getting close to the rainbow bridge now it's a really nice place <laughs> look at my eyes they aren't even open you can sort of see it back there Ugh, it's just hidden by this bridge you can sort of see it so walking towards it soaking up the atmosphere trying not to die or and or throw up <laughs> I have a feeling a lot of people are going to be doing the same thing today luckily it's not too late I thought it was much later but it's just like lunchtime it's noon so we're doing okay I slept from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. but we're doing okay oh my god worst idea ever the hangover cure thing is not working or maybe it would be worse with Well, no clue how to get there. Ugh. Absolutely no clue. It's beautiful though. This construction thing, it's gorgeous. Okay, I think I found the way, because I saw this tiny little sign over there with the rainbow colors that says welcome. But this is really confusing. But also my bad because I haven't read anything like how to get on the, the rainbow bridge. I just put it on Google and let it do its thing. Uh, let's just try that way. See, that's all we get. Entrance to rainbow bridge, promenade, promenade. Oh, that word again. This. This is what I saw from afar, and I was like, oh, let's try this way then. Last century. Okay. Let's 
so I'm guessing this is the way. I hate that I'm alone. I hate that I'm not, you know, like the comfort of following a crowd sometimes. And here's the bridge. I'm wondering where that had disappeared to. I wonder if it's really cold up there though. I don't think there's anything to do in Odaiba anymore. That's what they told me. There's a map over there, so I'm gonna check it out. Well, the cold definitely woke me up. For sure. Oh, it's the guy to the Rainbow Bridge again. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Let's go. Let's go check this out. Neat. Neato. Did I just use the word neato? I'm like really tired. Okay, so this is where I am. And this is the whole of a Daiba, I guess. But I haven't planned, I hadn't planned on going into a Daiba at all. Oh my god. So, uh,. Yeah, I don't think I'm going into Odaiba. I don't know if I'm making a big mistake, but I'm just gonna enjoy the view and the sun a little here. And then I'm gonna walk back uh, on the south part. Oh my god, I'm dying. And uh, I have maybe one more stop in Tokyo. Yeah, this is a weird day, guys. I'm sorry.
is really filling the day up as much as I can, but I think this may be my last talk because I am dragging my feet like crazy and uh, <laughs> barely holding on. But behind me is Yushima something shrine, but it's a place where you can view the uh, plum blossoms, so this is the perfect period for it. And I think this may be one of the last days of the uh, festival that's been going on over there, so I was hoping to check it out. And it is perfect weather for it, just not the perfect state of mind. So, not sure what to expect, maybe street food, maybe... I don't know, but I'm gonna go check it out. I'm a bit peckish anyway. way too many people for me. I looked around, it was like the, the cherry blossoms. The palm blossoms are really beautiful, but too many people though, it's just too many people. When they said it was like a really good viewing spot, I did not expect this at all. I, th I thought it would be much more quiet for some reason, but it's Saturday and it's a beautiful day. And there's a, like the whole festival thing and I think it's the final day, so yeah. The street food looked really yummy, but it looked, like I said, too many people and also like budget. I've already indulged in so many street foods, so I'm, I've already been like, I've had the experience, I've had the, <laughs> I've had my fun with it. Yeah, I've had my fun. The only thing I was hesitant to try because I haven't never had it is uh, okonomiyaki. So the pancake with the cabbage and everything, but it was 500 yen and days I'm being more picky of what I'm spending my money on. Still need to survive, you know, eat. And uh, yeah. Now I'm walking about 30 minutes back to my hostel. Still saving. 100 yen here, 100 yen here, there, I mean. Yep. It's gonna be a good last few days. I can do it. Now I just need to now I just need, I need some sleep, otherwise I'm just gonna be a zombie like today. <laughs> okay, see you guys later. I'm gonna see if this is going to be vending machine of the day, because I have a lot of small change, and this is just 100 yen, so let me take my change. Cue theme song. Okay, should have enough with all of this. It won't focus, but do we need it to focus? Actually, uh, I've already had a roll of milk tea, but it's one of the things I can only get here, and isn't it? 
By the way, I think that right over there, okay, focus camera, yep, that is correct, right over there is the hostel I stayed at last time. It's really cool because it's a women's on women only and it's super comfy and pink and cute so I'll recommend it if it's a short stay. Okay. I think we're almost home. Maybe 10 minutes, 